Hi everyone, it's Gail and it's Scrappy Saturday again already. Can you believe it? The weeks fly, they just fly. So um, I'll tell you what we're gonna do in a minute. Let's say hi and hugs first to Debbie, Aileen, Joan and Ashley. Thank you so much for watching and for your kind comments. And off we go everybody. So, I have a story to tell you about this project, but we'll wait for a minute until I'm crafting on that. Okay, but first, the first thing I wanted to do is I wanted to show you these from yesterday. I got them sewn around, and um, doesn't the sewing just, it just adds so much, I feel like. So, anyway, sewed around the woodland ones. And then these are the ones that are going to go in my, these and these actually are going to go in my little uh, project I'm doing over on Patreon. This one I wanted to show you. I had this little bingo card left, so I just backed it with um, some of the card stock in my scraps. And so now those are ready to go. So all sewn around, all ready to go. Yay! <laughs> Okay, so this project, first of all, I had an idea with window envelopes. So I thought we might kind of do a little mass make of these if it turns out. If not, we'll go from there. But um, I recently, let's just say I had to reorganize my scrapbooking paper. I'll tell you the full story in a minute. And I came across these few little little bits that I thought we might use. I came across these two, which don't ask me where I got these. I have no idea. Somewhere, and they came from um, they came from China, and they have other artists work in them. So they're like I don't know. Very disappointing, let's just say. Um, but I want to, I mean, I want to use up the paper. So I kind of have those in my scraps now. And then these two were loose pieces of, um, these are Blue Fern Studios Tattered Walls. It's an older collection, but they were kind of loose pieces. And I was like, I think I just might use those up. So we'll see. We'll see on those ones. But, um, what I want to do is find a scrap, and I know I have some Tim Holtz ones in here that might work, I think. Oh, I have these pretty Blue Fern Studios, too. Okay. Oh, yeah, we're going to have plenty to work with here. But first, I want to grab a Tim Holtz one. Hopefully. Yep, here's one. Okay. Okay. And we're going to try my idea. Whether or not it's going to work, I have no idea. Okay, so that's about four and three quarters across, which is fine on a six-inch page, right? Okay, so I think I'm going to make this. Am I going to make it eight? I kind of want it to be big, but I might go seven and three quarters on it or something like that. Okay, let's see if this works. Sometimes these ideas, you know, they come and it's like, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to work, but we'll try it. What's the other side of this paper like? Okay, it's just, it's just that. I think I'll keep this side. Okay, and then I have these. And yes, that's... That's pretty good there. That is cut off. Do I have one that's not? This one isn't. But getting them apart is a whole nother thing. Okay. Well, that tells me what I might do there. I'm, I was thinking of making gussets for them is what I was thinking. And, um... I'm not going to, on this side, be able to, unless I add a piece to it, which I could do. Okay, so I'm going to cut.
cut this at sort of a, a pleasant width above the window. And we'll keep this because this can make, see, we can just put a little thumb hole in that and that can make a good pocket too. Okay. So. I'm thinking. Okay, I'm just going to use my scissors and I'm just going to cut this kind of down like that. And then I'm going to cut over. So I'm leaving like half an inch or something. Like that. We can use that to back something. Okay, and then on the corner here, the corner, I'm just gonna cut down to the corner. Like that. Now, I don't have anything for this side, so I think what I'm gonna grab is, do I have any there? No. Um, I'm just going to grab a coffee dyed scrap, a coffee dyed strip scrap, and, and I'm going to sort of make my own, I think. I don't know. I have no idea if this is going to work, you guys. So, okay. So, like... Right there is fine. I'm just going to fold this so that it's kind of even-ish with the edge. Okay. And then some gluing is going to happen with this one. I don't know. I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to try it. I kind of wanted to have envelope on each, you know, on each side, but that was not to be with this one. So that's okay. I'm just going to put this hingy thing on there, kind of. And then, then it'll be more gusseted. I just wanted a little more room. Okay, I need to cut this one down a bit because it's showing through the window and I don't want that. This one too. Just a bit. So it doesn't show through the window. Okay, now we're good. Okay, so we have this scrap of paper. And I'm liking how you can kind of see through. I think I might thumb hole the top a little bit. And my thought is to leave the coffee dyed as it is. We'll put something down there, but just to leave the coffee dyed as it is. Um, let me grab, let's see. I want a Tim Holtz washi, but I'm not sure if this one's wide enough. It is. Okay, and it's, it's kind of floral, so we'll do that. I'm gonna put that over this bit of writing. Sometimes I like the bit of writing to stay, but just not on this one. I'm going to put a little bit of oohu on it so it stays put. And I want to flip it over the top of the pocket, which is why I'm doing it now before we do any gluing or anything. Okay like 
So, okay, that's down. Yes, okay. <sighs> that was me shrugging my shoulders. I don't know. Let's um, definitely give that a little bit of distress ink around the edges. I want it to be more obvious where the pocket is. going to be better. So we're having a little snow shower right now. It's lovely. Little, just little flakes. Nothing too spectacular, but it's supposed to do it all afternoon, so it might end up to be something, something more. Okay, I think I'm going to round the top corners of this. I don't know how much of a mass make this will be because it's taking me a bit to, <laughs> to think through it. So, I have tons of window envelopes that are coffee dyed though, and I was like, I'd like to use some of them up, and then I wanted to use these kind of rectangular scraps that I have. Okay. So then my thought is to, like, just adhere it on there. Let's see, I'm about to sneeze, guys. I'm sorry. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Can you guess if the heater's on or not? <laughs> Jeez. I could have angled these top bits a little bit, but I didn't think of it until right now, so we're not going to worry about it. might be bugging me about this is that the sides are too kind of pristine so I might take my little distressor thing we'll have to go back and yeah I like that better we'll have to go back and um, re-ink it but There's a fix for almost everything, isn't there? It's just like, well, it's just a little too perfect for me. So let's see, this will air on Saturday, so I will be in my, my last day of my retreat. I've been so looking forward to it. So hopefully I'll have all of my projects done. <laughs> all of the mega bunch of projects that I wanted to do. Oh, we'll see. I was a little, probably a little bit um, overly ambitious. But you never know. I'll be like, nobody talk to me. I'm working on all this stuff and I want to get it done. Okay, looks like our window's coming up there a little bit, so I think I'll put a little glue on that. Sometimes the coffee dyeing process, it loosens things. Okay, now I have my other piece of this. Bit small anyway. 
what else do I have that... Ooh, that's about right, isn't it? Ooh, and look at how pretty that is. Okay. Liking that. I think I'm going to cut that right about there. You know, it's a thing with uh, the Stamperia paper. It's just so gorgeous. You always end up loving it. I'm thinking, though, I might, I might cover up the little bird. I don't know. Oh, that's cute, too. Okay, I'll leave that, and then, then this can be the side for writing. You have to kind of get it over the lip of the, the bottom part. Oh, that's kind of cute. I think I'm... I'm just going to round the corners rather than do a tag shape. I'm thinking, is there anything else I want to put on this? Um... Maybe could put some sort of little sentiment on it or something. Okay. I could put something right there. It's going to show through. I think I like it just as it is. I could put, um, could put one of these up here and that gives it a little, just a little something extra. I need to empty that. Yep. Okay, so then you could actually write on the back of that too but I think I would put it down on a page so see because if you put that down on a page you could put glue here here and here even up here but I'd want that to stay like that and then slide something in here on the page right? I think my, I think my trial is a success. I'm going to, I'm going to carry on and do some more. So that's that. Let's look at, I know I have Tim Holtz in here somewhere. There's some Tim. What else? Ooh, got some other tin too. Okay. Ooh, look at this one. That one would be good. Okay. Ooh, I'm looking. I just grabbed another piece. That would be a cool tag in that one. Okay. Well, we're not gonna do Tim right now. <laughs> we're gonna. We're gonna. Carry on on a different on a different one. Keep them at the ready though. Okay, so how wide is this? This is five inches. I think I'm going to cut this down a bit. So this can be the seven and three quarters. I like the bigness of it. Now I have a little scrap there, but um, yeah, 
Yeah, and then I think I might want it a bit skinnier too. So let's see. Maybe we'll use maybe we'll use this one. We will use this one because then we can use this on there too. Okay. Okay. Ooh, and I have an idea for the for the hinges now that this one's this one's sealed up is what we have going on here. So let's go right about there. And I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this trying to Trying to cut it enough so that you don't see it on the other side with the window. Ew. Well, that's no good. This one um, doesn't have any anything loose at the bottom so that's a bit of a bummer but that's okay at least we'll have the sides that will give a bit of leeway to the things I need to get that a little closer because oh there we go it undid it was just stuck because of the coffee dyeing, probably. Okay, I need to just trim that off because it's showing in the window. Even a little more. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. I think I breathed in a little bit of the, what I cut off there. Okay. So really, we can we can put that on right now because we don't have to mess around with putting a coffee dyed strip on it or anything. Okay, I want this to be up as close as possible so it's not catching. That other one was catching a little bit. Oh, let's do this. Just gonna snip those off at an angle. Oh, I could have um, could have distressed this too if it needed it, and I didn't put a hole in the top. But that's all right. We don't have to do them all exactly. Say, oh, I wanted to cut that down. Tuck on it. Do it really fast. <laughs> Hopefully that's better. Okay. I think if we want a thumb hole, I'd still have room to do one too. Where's my little? Okay, and then I want to co cover that up, of course. And so I was thinking of using this paper. Go right about there. Kind of do some maybe in a little bit different ways. Be fun. <clears throat> I think I want to kind of tear that. like that a 
I love a little white space tear on scrapbooking paper because it really does <coughs> it really does um, ink up nicely. Like I'm just gonna go like that and leave that really dark coffee dyed edge. You know what I could do? I could make that a tuck. Nope, I'm gonna I'm gonna glue it all the way down. Still snowing out there. Gotta look over every once in a while and just check it out. I have an appointment at three o'clock, so I may have to may have to go brave it. Usually if it's snowing, I just stay home. <laughs> okay. Down really well, especially on the window side. Okay. I think I may want another little, a little bit of a thumb hole there. I maybe missed. There it is. Okay. Now, I, like, I don't mind those, whatever those numbers and stuff are going up the side because it's kind of like, um, it's just another decoration. Um, what else would we like with this one? What do I want to do? I think I want to round the corners again. Yeah, I like, I'm liking the rounded corners more than thinking about cutting it like a tag. <clears throat> and I think I'm going to do a punch with this again. This is a We Are Memories Keeper Euro Punch, and it's available on my website on my Gail's Favorite Things. If you are interested in one, I would love it if you shop through my website. Helps me out. Okay, down the side. Ooh, I'm really liking how this one's turning out. I want to decorate that some more. I'm not quite certain what I want to do. Oh, you know what we should do first is do a tag for it. And I was thinking this paper would be really cool. I mean, that would be cool. Or this side. This side would be good for writing though, wouldn't it? Let's chop that in half, kind of. Half-ish, just where the pattern changes. Okay. Let's see, I do think I'm going to like that. Yeah, that's neat. Okay. So, before thinking about decorating any more on there, I kind of want to know what am I doing on here? Now, wood. Oh, over there. It's like somewhere I've got my die cut flowers. Now there's a bit of red here and there's a bit of kind of a purple. What one of these purple ones? Doesn't show up. Try this one. Mm. 
I kind of like that on the tag. Let's do it. Let's just do it. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna fuss around thinking about it too much. Okay, so this word right here is where we want that to be. So right there. And then we can decorate around it a bit. How about? Okay. We have a plan. This is always a bit fiddly, but we'll get her. Okay, I'm going to call my idea of using the window pocket on on big scrapbook scraps a success if that's okay with you <laughs> I'll be checking with you all first okay I'm gonna put that right there Okay, I think I need more glue. I didn't glue that whole thing and I should have. I was thinking that there was more hanging off the end than there is. Okay, so that's on there. Then let, so let's clip that off. Um, I think again, I'm just gonna round the corners of this. Okay, and then we need to think about what else, like a label or something on this, which I think I think a label would be nice, like up here. We'll see what we have that will go. Yeah, and you can easily write on the back. Okay, that's good. All right, so let's look here and see is this my labels no that's my frames I think this one's my labels I'm trying not to knock over my water bottle oh yeah they're in the kind they're in the kind one one of my subbies was teasing me <laughs> Don't have the right label out of a whole, whole millions of labels. It's a first world problem. <laughs> yep. Yep, yep it is. So that one goes good there. That little B, I like that. Okay, and then almost thinking like maybe a little butterfly or something right there. We'll see. Where's my glue stick? Okay. There's that. Uh, butterflies. That's a pretty one. Wrong colors, though. Let's see what we have here. That one might be too, that's too long. <clears throat> have a lot of itty bitty butterflies from Janie B. Journals that are good for a lot of things like this. I'll know it when I see it. Or maybe we don't want a butterfly on here. I don't know. 
Oh, I kind of like the brown because of the brown there, and it's all sort of subtle. That's nice too, but I think I like this one. More so a, a moth than a butterfly, but <laughs> we'll go with it. Oh, gosh, I'm dropping my scraps down on the floor here. Okay, so there's butterfly. Let's get that on there. And I think we'll have this one done. So we'll have, what do I do with my other one? I don't even know. Okay, I'm gonna put that right there. And then this will go right down here and the flower kind of shows through okay I like that one too what to do with my other one here it is so we've got two done how are we doing time wise oh we can get another one done at least oh good because I did want to do a Tim Holtz one um I think I might use this because um, this back would be fine for writing. So I'm going to cut it off at seven and three quarters again. Here. This may end up being our tag. And then, what did I say, like four and three quarters ish or something? like that okay and then which which of these envelopes that I have left would we like to use this one's pretty I'm going to use this one because I think I can have the man in there and then put a flower or something there. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We're going to cut this off. This one's taller. So, what is that? I'm going to try and do about the same at the top and bottom. Let's see how that works. That's going to be a fun um, little something to decorate. Okay, so is that going to be okay? It's tall, but it's fine. Okay. Let's do our little cutting of the... of the gussets. This one... It's going to be skinny gussets because the window is right there. Okay, and then go down a little farther. And let's see if we can go across. Okay. We are good. Oh, interesting. I'm just going to cut these corners slightly. This one will kind of be on its own. Okay, I've got, got a situation right down here. I'm going to cut the top slightly. doesn't show through so we're all good there all right so let's do a tiny little thumb hole nothing too nothing too much I 
think I'm going to do a little... Okay, and then let's glue it on. We'll go from there. Hope you like this idea. Let me know what you think. Just one of those that kind of came to me. I was thinking I wanted to use, definitely use the rectangle scraps. But I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do with them. And this kind of fits the bill, I think. For some of these bigger scraps. And, you know... I feel like you can never have too many pockets uh, at the ready, you know. They're just ready to pop into a journal. I love that. Okay, I'm going to use my little scrubber thing, my little rougher upper thing. Keep forgetting to pull this over kind of need to because it does it creates grits just no way around it oh stop snowing just like that we only get a little bit I'm wanting us to get a bit more snow because otherwise I mean, not that I love driving in it and all that, but otherwise the summer's so dry and we don't, we don't like that. Living in the woods, we don't like that. <laughs> okay, let's ink it. And then I'm gonna, um, see how big we need that tag to be. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm liking it already. Okay, is this? Yes, we need to take off a good little bit there on the edge of this. Maybe about that much. It should work. And I'm just thinking about it's a little bit shorter than the other tags, but it might work. And look, he can you see that? I don't know with the glare, but he looks right through that window. So I really like that. Um, we just kind of need something on this side to go through that other window, which I think it's going to be a Tim Holtz flower. That's what it's going to be. And then writing space on the back. Okay. Good, good. So far, so good. I'm considering a label right there. I don't want to cover up any of the coffee dyed envelope though, because I just think they're so they're so fun. They're so pretty. Okay, let's get our flowers back out. What could we do? This is all very neutral. I'm kind of feeling, ooh, maybe a brown. 
would that be like? Okay, so if we stick in the card like that, and we put that like that, there's gonna be quite a bit of it you cannot see, but I think it's gonna be okay. So I'm gonna put that right on those words right there. I'm doing it, I'm just doing it. Oops, one little pokey outie that didn't get poked out. Where's my, huh, oh, there it is, right here. There we go, got it. I don't know if I'm on camera or not, but I'm just getting this in all the little nooks and crannies that I can on this flower. It's always tricky with these, but thank goodness for a small tip on the art glitter glue, right? Get the edges of the leaves so they don't catch. Okay, I think we're good. And I'm going to put that right like this. Cut off the stem. I'm thinking about a, a tab on that. These are from ePapery. They're fabric page tabs. I love them. I think they're awesome. So look at this one on there. If we just pop that on the top, I'm thinking that gives that enough interest. And it's going to be just fine. Okay, cool. that one on easily. <laughs> I don't know if I was living right on that one. Okay. Okay. So now that's going to go in here. Like so. Oh, I really love that. Okay. And then I do think maybe a little label of some sort right there if I can find something that speaks to me for this little one. There's that. Not bad. I don't know if we can do better. I don't want yellow. Ooh, this is cool. Yep, that's it. It's on, it's stamped on rice paper, which I want to do that again soon. Not that I need more labels, but it's just fun. <laughs> it's fun to see how they turn out. Okay. Just a hint of color on this, and I like that. Okay, there's that one. Yay! Yikes. Oh, I have 10 more minutes. I was like, I've gone over a half hour. <laughs> so we've got 10 minutes. Look, guys. We made some cool pockets. I like these. Okay. We might get... Let's look. Let's look in these papers and see. These are... These are eight inches, so only a little would have to come off. I just want to use these up. I just, I was sick when 
Andrea from Artie Mays said, you know what? Those are my designs. I'm like, oh my gosh. So those are all, um, these were all Valamy stuff. So this one could be good. It's pretty um, neutral. Let's see what we can do with it just for fun. Yeah, I want these to be gone so that I don't have to think about that anymore. That that was, <laughs> every time I see them, I think about disappointing Andrea and I feel sick. I had no idea. I probably loved them so much because, because they were like Andrea's. You know, she's got such a beautiful style. <sighs> I don't know how these places that steal other artists' work can live with that. Okay, so we're going to put this on there. And so we want to... Or do I want... This one doesn't have as much to cover up. But it's got that whole situation. This one's closed, so we'll use it. <clears throat> I don't know if we'll get this one done, but... We'll get it started anyway. We're going to have lots of these little things to make. Maybe that's next Happy Saturday. It'll be here before we know it. That much we know. Okay, let's cut it first. And open it up a bit. And I've got plenty of room on this side. And this is the side that I need to be a little more careful with. I can always trim it later, though. Okay, and this needs to go down a little further. Well, the good thing about doing some mass making is I feel like we've got this down, you know. We know, we know what we're doing here. Okay. And this, yeah, there we go. Okay. Look how that flower goes through there. That's neat. So I've had that happen to me twice. This this um, paper, Andrea let me know that it was a company that had taken her designs. And then... Um, when I was at Creativation in, what was that, 2019, um, I showed a booth there and was contacted and let know that they had her designs up on the wall. Jeez. I mean, I felt so bad, but how was I supposed to know, really? Just kind of purchase what I like. I bought this um, paper on Etsy and I did let the Etsy seller know and the Etsy seller took it down. So there's that. So we'll just cover it up with a pocket. How about? <laughs> okay. Okay, so we just got a white back, so actually this could work as the, as the tag. Kind of hard to get in there, but why? Why are you hard? Oh, there we go. Just 
kind of use that to smash that down a bit. Oh, it only wants to go there, so it's okay. We're going to cut it right here. And round it. And then this one can be fully decorated. You know what I'm going to do is... I might leave that like that. I think what I'm going to do is ink it and then I'm going to leave it undecorated because then I can decorate it for some journal along the line where we need a little pocket. So I'll just put it in my to-do box. That's okay. I've been using some things out of my to-do box, so it's okay to... Okay, so we got one for the to-do box and three completely done. I'd say that's a good stroke of business. What, so like 15 minutes a piece about? Although the first one took me a while because I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> okay, so this one's going into the to-do box. That's great. And here's the other three that we did. We did this one with the little um, Tim Holtz flower in there. We did this one with the bird. And we did this one with the little Tim Holtz man is on the card and then decorated it that way. Yay! I'm so happy this worked. I really like it too. So I hope you'll give it a try and I hope you enjoyed Scrappy Saturday. Have a grateful day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.